Other than that, a supercharger station, when is the last time you watched your car charge? For me, it had been a long time, and I only did recently because I was testing my wall connector after I got solar. But what I found was that my car is having a charging issue, and it's been that way for many months. I looked back at my power bill, and I saw that my peak charging was only 8 kilowatts when it should be 11. So let me show you what's going on. Right now we're charging. We're connected to the wall connector with a maximum available of 48 amps. This is a, a long range Model 3, so it can do the full 48 amps. A standard range is only 32 amps, but they can have the same issue. So we're charging at 32 amps because charge current limit is set to 32. If I bump it up to 33 though, or higher, I get a message. Charge speed reduced, unplug and try again. It does that anytime I'm upset above 33 amps and it doesn't matter if you unplug it or plug it in, it just does it again. If I drop back down to 32 amps, the problem clears and in either case, it charges like normal. It's just limited to 32 amps the whole time. Now I did find two other people that have this with a Model 3 long range and they had exact same issues, but I also found someone with a standard range that had the same indications except they were limited to 16 amps instead of 32. So there's some speculation that the chargers in the Model 3 are 16 amp increments. So they have two chargers, I have three. Maybe, I don't really know. I did find in the parts catalog, we have two parts in here, number 26, it's this piece, that say power conversion system, 48 amps or 32 amps, two different part numbers. And the people who had theirs fixed, that is the part that was replaced. So I suspect it will be the same with mine, but it's going into service on Monday and I will continue this video when we find out more. So here we are a week later. My car spent a day in service and they replaced part number 26, the power conversion system, AKA the 48 amp battery charger. So you can see now we are charging at the full 48 amps, which is 11 kilowatts, 12 kilowatts, and we have no warning message. So that fixed it. And one more tidbit that I got while I was there is that this is the second one of these that they've had to repair in the last two weeks. So this really could be more widespread than we realize. And people just haven't noticed because they don't normally charge above 48 amps, or sorry, above 32 amps. And if they do, they're probably not watching their car while it does it. So one way you can check that is by charging. If you don't have a wall connector, you can pull up the map, tap the screen, and in the bottom right, turn on your local other charging stations other than superchargers. So if I look around my area here, you know, I pull this one up and there's no information about charging stations. So that's not going to be a Tesla destination charger. But if I go over here, so we have a local winery with two connectors, 16 kilowatts max. So you're looking for something greater than eight kilowatts. Eight kilowatts is 32 amps. So you may find 10 kilowatts or even 20 kilowatts. So check out whatever you have, hotel, restaurant, winery in this case, and see what you can do. So that's about it. I hope this helps and leave your comments if you guys have this problem so we can get an idea of how widespread it really is. So yeah, thanks for watching.